Hello YouTube, my name is Kangov, and a friend recently told me all the tutorial videos they could find for adding mods to their Stardew were too confusing or too complicated, which in turn confused me because it's actually quite easy. So today I'm going to show you how to add mods, specifically on desktop for Windows, but a lot of the steps are very similar and you need to download the same base file for Mac, Linux, and Stream Deck. First, make sure you've run vanilla Stardew on your computer through Steam at least once prior to doing the following steps. To start, you want to install the latest version of Smappy, which I will link in the description below. You'll have to make a Nexus account to download this, but Nexus is the website we will be using to find the mods we want anyways, so you can just do the free and easy sign up. Once Smappy is downloaded, just extract all files. This can be extracted to any folder you want for the time being. Open this folder and the one inside of it to find the install files. Open the appropriate one and follow the prompts. For Windows, the prompt will ask you where you want to install. Just keep the suggested location. And if you want to install or uninstall. Obviously, in this case, we want to install. Once all of that has run, you should get a line of green text telling you a file path. Click and drag your mouse across it, including the entire line of text, and press Control C on your keyboard to copy the text. Keep this window open for now. Next, open up Steam and find Stardew. Then under Settings, locate Properties. Should automatically open to General, but if not, just click on General and look for the install path. Then remove whatever is currently in it and press Control V on your keyboard to paste the text we just copied. Now you can run Stardew and a command prompt window should open before the game. This window needs to stay open while you play the game in order for the mods to run, but if it shows up, that means everything worked and you can now close the installer window from before. Technically, that is all you need to do. You can now add mods to your game, but let me tell you how to actually do that part. To find the folder for putting mods in, go to your PC files, search for Steam, Open Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and Stardew Valley. I personally recommend pinning this Stardew Valley folder to your quick access or your desktop for easy access, as it will not show up if you just search for Stardew Valley on your computer. But it's a lot of steps to go through all of that again. The Stardew Valley folder should have your Smappy internal folder and a mods folder. This mods folder is, of course, where you put the mods. You can download whichever ones you want from the Nexus website that we signed up for earlier. Something to keep in mind is that certain mods have other dependency mods. Luckily, when you do manual downloads on Nexus, it tells you if you need a dependency mod. Just download the one it says first, then the mod you wanted. Once you have all the mods you want, you will drag them into your mods folder and extract them there. Then you can delete the zip file as you only need the extracted version to run the mod. This is pretty much all you need to do. If you notice the mod is not working or your game is crashing, that command prompt window that pops up upon launching the game will tell you the issue. Just look for red text and it will say if your mod isn't up to date, missing a dependency, or anything else. You can add and remove mods to Stardew at any time. Just keep in mind that if you started a save with certain mods, it may be corrupted or have some weird errors if you choose to remove and add mods to it. You also do have to restart Stardew anytime you add new mods, but otherwise that's all there is to it. 
It's just a lot of downloading and dragging things into folders. If you don't know where to start with mods, you can go watch my video suggesting some of my personal must try Stardew Valley mods. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or anything in this was confusing, please leave a comment. I'll make sure to reply to all of them.